big boat. We've been on that boat. Maybe not that one, but a boat like that. Ah, ah. <laughs> I think I'd fall down the hill. Follow the Maquis. Follow the Maquis. Maybe they're parking in the same parking garage as us. So we're like parallel to Pike Place right now. It says we're a minute away from the parking, so it's gotta be close. That store is called, is butter a carb? <laughs> what? It's literally from Mean Girls. Uh, these people are gonna wanna cross, so just let them. That way I can show the bright pink is butter a carb as Actually, well. Actually, it's Cobb's Popcorn with a question. Oh, you're of. right. Oh, Pike's Place is above us. Yeah, okay, so you see over there where yeah. it says parking? It's on the left. I don't know how to get in there. Because that's the exit, I think. No, that was the entrance. Shit. No. Yes. That's the entrance. They have two entrances. Do they? You've arrived. Yep, that's it. Okay. So it's under the Joe DeSmone Bridge. So, so far I like that parking garage because it really just spits you out right here. very nice and pleasant out here. Literally, the market's right there. Uh, this is nice. <laughs> and normally we have like a giant hike over. Yeah, that could be just like a press a button and go down. Yeah, the aquarium's right over there. God, I can't remember the last time I went to the, to the aquarium. So we're downstairs. Normally we just hit up the upstairs, but yeah. Downstairs usually is an open one right here. We just got a door knocker. It's a pelican, I'll show you later. Phil's over at Gifts Animals Collectible. They have a Zoltar over there. And they have the world famous Giant Shoe Museum that you have to pay like 50 cents to see. Yeah. It's weird not having a plan because I mean, we've been to Pike Place so many times. So this is really nice and chill. I just can't remember the last time I was just relaxed. So we're just meandering around and accidentally found the gum wall, which really is spectacularly gross. And as Phil just pointed out, they didn't even close this during COVID, so this is all just gum. And it goes on for forever. Welcome to Gross Gumball. It's gross. Like, being in here sketches me out. And it shouldn't, because it's just gum. But now I just smelled someone's gum. And that's gross. I just smelled someone's gum. So I was like, okay, we'll go to the crumpet shop, because the crumpet shop's never open when we're here. How have we never been here when they're open? I just want to crump it. <sighs> crump it. So I sent Phil over to go get some cheese. Technically Phil sent Phil over to go get some cheese. We're just picking up some cheese curds and coming back. Here's Seattle Pike Place Market vibes. So we bought mom some dried flowers. So the thing to know about this parking garage, hopefully there's no one in there, is you can't park on the level you park on unless you park on, you can't pay. Oh good, there's no one here. So there's only two pay stations, one on level one and one on P6. We parked on P5. Also, now I can show this because it's funny. <laughs> But yeah, we had a good time. We got the flowers for mom. We got the print of London. And now we're back to Fish Five. And that was only $8 because we were there for an hour and a half. That's pretty reasonable. That's definitely less than what the other one charges. Or 
and I don't think getting out of here will be too terrible. Seems to have lightened since we got here. Yeah. Phil's commenting on the scared Patrick air freshener. All right, loading back to the car. Then we are going to the Mar Queen Hotel. It didn't say that our room is ready yet, but they said check-ins at three, so hopefully. So, although we had the hiccup with where to park, um, I would 100% recommend this. It's the Public Market Center parking lot. It was cheaper than the one that we normally go to. I felt very safe here. It was, and Ew. yeah, we didn't have, normally we park oh, we like two blocks away. Well, it's not two blocks. It's like four blocks. And it's up a hill. Yeah, it's up a hill. So it's fine coming down to the market, but leaving the market sucks. And it's, people get their kind of converter stolen, I guess there. Yeah, I guess. So we got out, that was stressful. I almost got us hit by a car. Yeah, but it's only Space Needle. We're staying really close to the Space Needle. We are technically four minutes from our hotel. Wow, that was a long seven minutes. We'll get there exactly <laughs> at three. I haven't even gotten the text that our room is ready yet, so. Oops. But I mean, as long as they let us park, we don't necessarily need to unload right away. <laughs> when they said the bike place was a mile away from the hotel, it looked a lot further. We probably could have walked that. Yeah. Oh well. Up the hill? I don't know. Ooh, yeah, the hills. I don't know. Look at that horse. It's such a good horse. Can I cat call him? You're a good boy. So we're next to the Climate Pledge Arena. And then just slightly off to the side. It's facing out. The Smashing Pumpkins are playing tonight, which Phil says I would know their songs if I heard them, but I don't know any off the top of my head. We are two minutes from the hotel. In 600 feet, turn left onto Mercer Street. Ooh, Republican Street. That takes you all the way to Idaho. <laughs> and then direct south. Turn left onto Mercer Street, then turn right onto Queen Anne Avenue North. What's this Metropolitan Market? I don't know. We've seen it around like everywhere. I don't know if it's like a small co-op sort of a deal, but there's another Bartell Drugs. It still should be Bartell. It feels like it should be Bartell. Man, those are some dark rain clouds up there. It's supposed to be pouring rain right now, but instead it's been beautiful and lovely. Oh, it's been so We should have nice. gone to the zoo. <laughs> this would have been a great zoo day. Yeah. Cooler oh, wow. and like animals are going all active. But I had fun at Pike Place and we had a nice relaxing lunch. Oh, that's our hotel. All right. Marqueen Ho. Oh yes, I always like seeing at the Marqueen Ho. This is not as nice of an area as I thought it was when I booked it. Hey, this is a bus stop. It's very hip. You can make up your mind if you're crossing or not. So where do we park for this? It says that it has parking. Your destination is on the right. Tin Lizzie Lounge. Um, where do we park for our hotel? This is the hotel. Um, oh, valley parking. Oh, dude, you're going to have to go around. I cannot get there. Oh, there are an Uber behind us, so. Okay. Mom lost a couple roof tiles. Oh, no. Oh, we'll just have to ask. Oh, and like, yeah. Pedal or park these biatch. This is why it's valet parking for guests. Because it sucks? Yeah, because they don't have parking. So they're probably taking it to a parking garage. Uh, one more time with Philly. Okay. Bye. 